Welcome, and we're glad to see you'll be using Whova at your event. It's easy to give presentations and interact with attendees, and we'll be sure to help you through this process. In this video, we'll cover how to sign in, present in a session, see and answer attendees' questions, poll the audience, and research them beforehand to tailor your talk. We'll also cover some frequently asked questions at the end. First, signing in. You'll have access to both a web portal and mobile app. For the web portal, you should have received the link to access. If not, you can reach out to your event organizers. Once accessed, you can sign up and create an account if you've never used Whova before or sign in. Since Whova recognizes the speaker based on the email address, it's important to make sure you use the same email that you were registered with as a speaker. And in the mobile app, simply follow the same process to get signed in. Now on to presenting. Once you are signed in, there are two ways to present in a session. You can either use the streaming platform's native app, or you can use Whova's web portal. Many streaming platforms provide a link that can be used to easily access the platform. Let's use Zoom, a popular streaming platform, as an example. As mentioned, for using Zoom's native app, you should have received a link from your event organizers to access the Zoom meeting. If you didn't receive a link from your organizer, from the web portal, you can find your session under the agenda. Click into your session and click Join in Zoom. If you don't see the choices, check to see if you received other instructions from your event organizer on using a different platform. Once in the Zoom meeting, you should see a Share Screen option to share your presentation. Select your screen or program and click Share. If you receive an error message about not being able to share the screen, message the host of the Zoom meeting to give you permission. For presenting on the web portal, find your session and select the Join in Whova option. This should automatically send a notification to the organizers to promote you as a panelist. If you're still not a panelist after some time, you can reach out to the host or the organizers. Once in, you'll see the same share screen option to share your screen and start the presentation. Now alongside your presentation, if your event is using Whova for Q&A, you can access this in both your web portal and mobile app. If you're not sharing slides, you can utilize the web portal. It will be on the right side of the session. Otherwise, if you are sharing your screen, you'll want to consider using the mobile app for the Q&A. You can access the questions through the speaker hub. Make sure to access the questions from the speaker hub and not from the agenda to avoid any echo. Now click questions from my audience and you'll see your sessions. There, click on your session and you'll see the questions that were asked. Also, don't worry if you can't answer a question or two during your session. You can always reply after or later at any time in the Whova app. You also have the option to poll your audience. Back in your session in the web portal, click on polls on the right and select the option to create a poll. You can select between a number of answer types, enter in your question, and add answer options if applicable. Select between one of the prompt options below and finish by clicking Add Poll. You'll see your created poll here for your attendees to click and answer. You can also click on the poll to see the current results. Now before your session starts, you can research your audience by seeing who will be attending your session. That way you can tailor your talk to your audience if you'd like. In the mobile app, find the speaker hub. Click on My Sessions and Audience and it will list your sessions you are speaking at. There you can select a session and click on the Attending option. Here it will list out all of the attendees who will be attending your session and you can further click on their profile to see their detailed backgrounds. Now onto the FAQ. First we have, why can't I see the speaker hub or the option to present in a session? Once again, 
since we identify a speaker based on the email address. When signing into Whova, please make sure that you are using the email you used to register for the event as a speaker. Otherwise, the system will not recognize your account. Next we have, why is there an echo during the presentation? This is typically caused by having your meeting session open in two places at once. When you are presenting, make sure you do not have another window or device that also has the session open. For example, you can be in the meeting through Zoom's desktop app, but also have the Zoom meeting joined in from the session details of Whova's web portal. Next we have, I'm sharing my video in Zoom, but why can't my audience hear it? Zoom has a specific setting to pass the video sound to your audience. Make sure these boxes are checked before sharing your screen or video. And lastly, we have some preparation tips. You'll want to test your devices, whether it's your camera or webcam, your microphone, and screen sharing. You can do this with your friends or colleagues. You'll also want to have a good network connection using wired access. If going wireless, you'll want to make sure it is a reliable connection. You can also join in any rehearsal sessions if the organizer provides them. You can also try using a laptop to present and not a mobile device. And lastly, pick a place that is quiet. That's it for the FAQ. And if you want to know more about interacting with other attendees, you can refer to our attendee guide. If you're also a sponsor or exhibitor, you can check out the respective guides. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and we hope this guide was helpful in preparing you for your event.